Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and we're now on Pisces. New messages please. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> One came out, Firm Foundation. Alrighty Pisces, what's going on with Pisces this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Messages for Pisces, new messages please for Pisces. Okay, something else slipped out. Ooh, truth reversed. Okay. Ooh. And then what we got? Throat chakra. Okay. Also, at the bottom of the deck is prosperity begins, which is like the ace of wands. So there's something that could be a passionate new beginning for you. Um, But let me talk about these cards that came out. Firm foundation is here, which is like the four of wands in traditional tarot. So it's like you could be building some type of foundation for yourself. This could be a relationship, okay? Um, or the possibility of one. And then the truth card came out in reverse. This is the truth card upright. So truth came out in reverse. So there's something that is like someone is not telling the truth about. Someone is not being honest about something. Could be just someone's emotions or how the how they feel. This could be you as well. You may be hiding emotions or hiding the truth, not speaking the truth. This is throat chakra, okay? Someone could want a relationship but not saying something, something like that, okay? Someone is not being open and honest with how they feel. Someone needs to speak up. Okay, so what's going on with Pisces this week? Let's clarify. Clarify this energy for Pisces this week. Tell me more about this energy, please for Pisces. Okay. Why is firm foundation here? Yeah. The justice card. Um, this may be a Libra. Um, yeah, that you're dealing with someone with Libra in their chart or just someone who could possibly want to make things right with you, or you want to make things right with a certain person. Why is truth in reverse? Yeah. Ace of swords. Someone needs to communicate the truth. Okay. Yeah, someone needs to do the right thing with justice. Do the right thing or choose to do the right thing and communicate the truth. Why is the throat chakra here? Nine of swords. Someone is afraid to speak or to tell the truth. This is very plain and simple, very cut and dry. Someone needs to tell the truth about something this week, okay? At the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. Maybe someone is afraid of rejection. Yeah, when it comes to um, a love situation, the lovers here, someone is afraid. Maybe they are afraid to connect with someone on this type of soul level, okay? This is like uh, soulmate energy with the Two of Cups, Twin Flame energy. Yeah, it could be with a Queen of Wands, Someone with fire in their chart or someone who uh, comes off as a queen of wands. Energy, fire sign energy. Okay, someone is afraid of rejection. That's why they they can't tell the truth or you cannot tell the truth. This could be you. Remember, this could be you or another person. Okay, tell me a little bit more. Okay, what is this? Hierophant in reverse. Whoa. Taurus energy. You could be dealing with an... A uh, Taurus that is upset, or you could be dealing with um, the energy of someone who's not sure if they want a long term relationship. Someone is like, uh, I don't know if I want a traditional relationship. I just don't know if I want that at this time. I'm not sure if I want to be married. Okay, when you get the hard font in reverse, tell me more. Two of Pentacles, someone is very indecisive about what they want. Okay. Give me one more card on that. King of Cups. This could be you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, at this time in your life, you could be feeling like, you know, maybe I just want to be free. Maybe I just want to be single. Maybe I don't want a long-term relationship or I'm not looking at marriage right now. Okay. And that's just the energy for this week. It could always change. Knight of Wands. Someone could feel like they want to play the field a little bit more. Maybe have fun or just date or have sex with people. You know, it's like 
I just want fun hookups. That's what I want to do right now. Yeah, that's someone's desire. Nine of Cups. This is so clear. Wow. This is very clear. So what's the advice for Pisces this week? What's the advice for Pisces this week? Improving health. Yeah, I feel like this may be mental health. There needs to be an improvement here. So if you feel this way, get it off of your chest because we do have that nine of swords energy. Someone is feeling anxiety about telling someone this. And it's like, improve your mental health. And also, look, I want to show you recovery at the bottom of the deck. Don't worry about what some how someone will react to what you have to say. Don't worry about what someone will do. You know, if they want to leave, they want to leave. You know, you can't keep anybody there. But I feel like someone would rather stay single or rather play the field than be in a solid relationship. And it's like, you may be afraid to hear this truth or you may be afraid to speak this truth to someone. Alrighty, Pisces, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you, Pisces. Also, before you go, um, click the description box and the link in the description box for Sophia Monet Tarot um, or Sophia Monet Apparel, rather. You guys, there are some great things on the website. I would appreciate your support for any t-shirts that you buy, tank tops, socks, leggings, joggers. There are some really cute things that I would love for you to purchase. It helps the channel to grow so we can continue to expand. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Bye.